There is a lot of confusion sometimes among new developers regarding what kind of stack they should pick early on. I mean, no one wants to waste months and figure out that they don't like it. If you're one of them, this video may help you. To keep things simple, we will cover just the basic difference between a full stack and single stack, like front end or back end. And in the next videos, I can help you choosing between like front end and back end. Now, we need some criteria to judge these two options, right? And I come up with two. First of all, how easy are they? Like full stack versus single stack? And what are the jobs requirement? And like, I mean, what kind of jobs you can do? What's the salary and all those things? This will be the two basic criteria on the basis of we will judge our decision. And at the end, I'll talk about some of the misconceptions regarding full stack and single stack. So let's dive deep. So point number one is easiness. Now for full stack, because you need to become better at both front end and back end, you need to invest more time learning both. Here I would give single stack option some preference because of the time constraints. It would take you around half the time to become ready for a single stack developer as compared to full stack, right? Uh, but being a full stack dev makes you overall a better developer because you would be able to understand things in the whole. You can take over projects because you will know how things actually work and compared to other developers who are just doing either front end or back end. When it comes to moving up, you will have the upper hand uh, just because of your skill set, which as you know, will take time. So what are the takeaways from this point? If you have limited time and need a job as soon as possible, pick either front end or back end. If you're okay to invest more time, then go with full stack option. So criteria number two is jobs. Now I think there are equal number of jobs, but they are distributed unequally. What do I mean by that? See, most big companies hire for specialty. They want experts. Most of the time, they are not looking for journalists. They would basically make a team of developers, like three or five developers doing backend work and three or four developers doing frontend work. And yes, some of them would be doing some full stack, but in a big organization, there'll be more single stack people than full stack. But in the startup, where cost is a major constraint, uh, as well as speed, you would need someone who can just come up and start making things. They would want to hire two to three full stack developers because they are cheaper than hiring eight single stack developers, right? And they will be running fast because they will save time in cross communication. However, I'm seeing a trend nowadays that due to sudden rise of this AI, companies are looking more to hire devs which are full stack. But I think this trend may not last long because as companies scale, they need expertise in all kinds of domains. So don't just jump ship because someone told you that you can uh, get a full stack job easily. So what should you do? I mean, ask yourself. So do you like more control over building things? Then go for full stack. If you don't have time, then I would say, yeah, stick with single stack. So what are the main takeaways from this point? So if you're aiming for big tech company, go with front end or back end. If you're looking for more startup or freelance work, then surely go with full stack options. So now let's talk about some of the misconceptions. Now, just hooking a back end with front end doesn't make you a full stack developer. Nowadays, full stack is a broad term and most devs are not full stack simply because being a full stack is like doing so much stuff that it would take you years or maybe decades. So being a full stack, realistically speaking, is a very long term game. So another misconception is that full stack devs knows everything wrong. No developer is a master of both front-end and back-end. Most full-stack developers specialize in either front-end or back-end while maintaining working knowledge of like both of the fields. And the next misconception is like full-stack development pays more. Not necessarily. At entry level, specialists often get hired faster in big companies. So full-stack expertise becomes valuable at mid or senior level, isn't better for like beginner developers. And the next misconception we have is like basic front-end back-end integration equals full stack. I, that I already talked about, like simply connecting to a front-end to a back-end API isn't enough to qualify as a full stack. So real full stack development understand like databases, security, authentication, DevOps, CICD, and much more. So if you want to be that, you have to study all of them. So there's like endless things you can do to become a full stack developer. And it's not limited to one or another thing. So let's conclude this video here. So which path is right for you? Ask yourself, do you enjoy design and working with user interfaces? Go with front end. You like like databases, making APIs, and you're more analytically uh, aligned than you should do backend. And if you like to do both, then yeah, you can, you can try full stack. 
if your main goal is to get a job quickly, it's best to start with single stack option, either front end or back end, so you can specialize uh, and gain experience faster. Once you are comfortable, you can expand your skill set and transition into full stack development. On the other hand, if you want to build your own projects or just want to do some freelance work, then you should stick with uh, full stack work. If you are like new doing coding for like one or two years, you are not a full stack. Yes, you might be able to do more like more than a single stack dev, but I would recommend picking a stack early on, either front end or back end. Pick one and do mastery in one. If you want to create, say, your own business, then you should do full stack because you might spread yourself too thin if you're trying to do both at the same time. So I think that's it from today's video. I'll see you next time in new video. Thanks a lot for watching.